Okay, so it's Sunday. Um, I haven't vlogged since Monday when I arrived because I've just been busy doing stuff. But I have some time now. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna talk about the things I did in the past week. I've been to the British Museum. It was really big, so there were a lot of things like old artifacts of the Greek and the Romans and the Egyptians and just a lot of stuff and then some pretty big things as well like entire walls of old buildings and yeah it was really cool and among all the stuff that was there there were also some of the very first written words and it got me thinking that when people that lived thousands and thousands of years ago they decided to settle down and stay in one place and because of that they started developing more trading and stuff and yeah, they started writing down what they were trading and what things were worth and yeah that's had a huge impact on everybody's lives right now because if people back then wouldn't have decided to stay in one place we would have never had books or the internet because all the code and every website you see that's words mainly that's really interesting that people that lived so long ago people that we don't even remember and hardly know anything about you know us individuals that they had such a big impact on the lives that we lead now and it's quite an interesting take at that the next day i went to the design museum which was really nice it wasn't that big but it was really interesting there were a lot of cool stuff and the thing i didn't expect was that there were a lot of things that were actually practical more than they did look great as well but they were more focused on on being useful and and, and solving problems that exist for for example people with certain handicaps and yeah that's really cool that they show that there as well instead of just clothes that look great or architecture of buildings it was a lot in more interesting than i expected it to be so that was really great it's particularly interesting for me since i want to be a web designer so yeah design is a, a big part of that there's a big coding side to that but of course there's a lot of design that goes into it too it's really something you gotta pay attention to as well because not just for the looks of the website but also to make it easy to use so that it's accessible for everyone and that people don't end up on your website thinking well uh, I want to do this but I have no idea how to get there so yeah that's really important and I was really happy to find stuff like that in the design museum as well I also went shopping for books I went to five or six different bookshops some of them were really huge other ones were small ones but were like really cute or really old so the shelves crammed with books like books lying on their sides I did spend quite a bit of money on books I think I bought 19 books in total since I've arrived here so yeah yesterday i went to the museum of zoology a lot of dead animals there <laughs> obviously dead animals in bowls and, and, and skeletons and yeah it's really interesting as well by the way if you're interested in stuff like that like the biology of animals and then you know the the build of their skeletons you should really check out the channel the brain scoop which is all about that click there i'll put a link in the doobly-doo as well uh, yesterday evening i went to watch some stand-up comedy it was actually quite good but the person that made me go there um was saying like yeah it's the best venue in in all of london and when i arrived there were literally like four rows of chairs and like a tiny stage just like a little platform to stand on for the comedian but yeah it was actually quite great when i arrived it was a bit like this is the best venue in london um where have i just spent my money on the last thing i want to talk about is um, i'm staying in a hostel and in the evenings i just chill with some of the people that are staying there and there's a pool table so we play pool and we watch tv and yeah it's great actually to do that if you would have told me a year ago that i would be going to london on my own staying in a house with people and having a shared kitchen and shared bathroom and a lounge to hang out in and that i would have been talking with these people and not just hiding my room i wouldn't have believed you it's amazing like at the start of this year i started going to college and the first day that i went to school before i went i had a bit of a panic attack because i was scared to uh, go to a place with a lot of people and there would be no one out i know and it scared the hell out of me and now i'm here in london staying in, in a home with different people talking to them and it really isn't such such a big deal i wouldn't have expected myself to do something like that and now i'm doing it so i'm really glad i, I made the decision to go and didn't think too much about it and just did it instead of should i do it all by myself isn't that a bit scary i just 
booked the tickets and, and I went. I'm making progress. I think I'm done here for today. So, bye. Stupid plane, it's a helicopter. Can you see it? Don't be so noisy. Oh, the wind is a 